scattered like emeralds on a turquoise sea. The 32 glorious islands that make up St. Vincent and the Grenadines lie in splendor in the southeastern Caribbean Sea. These sparsely developed islands offer unrivaled natural beauty, unblemished beaches, thick rainforests, lush mountains, shimmering waterfalls, valleys fertile with volcanic soil, brilliantly colored wildlife, both on land and in the sea. These remote islands present the ultimate opportunity for outdoor adventure in the Caribbean. World-class sailing and yacht chartering, superb diving and snorkeling, swimming near isolated waterfalls, hiking to the crater of a rugged volcano, romping on white sand beaches, a place where nature remains pure and unspoiled. Welcome to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, one step closer to Eden. Located in the southeastern Caribbean Sea, St. Vincent and the Grenadines lie between St. Lucia and Grenada, and about 100 miles west of Barbados. St. Vincent and the Grenadines are accessible by air from North America, Europe, and the Caribbean through connections in Barbados, Grenada, Martinique, St. Lucia, and Puerto Rico. Airports are located on St. Vincent, Beckway, Mustique, Hanawan, and Union Island. Other islands in this group include Young Island, Tobago Keys, Palm Island, Myro, and Petit St. Vincent. The first people to live on these islands were a nomadic people called the Siboney, and then the Arawaks and Caribs. By the 16 and 1700s, the French and British laid claim to the island. In the 1630s, African slaves escaped from a Dutch slave ship and settled on St. Vincent. Descendants of the Africans and native Caribs became known as the Garifuna. Today, 90% of the residents here are of African descent, and only a few Carib descendants remain. In 1979, St. Vincent gained independence within Britain's Commonwealth. St. Vincent and the Grenadines are accessible by rental car, an organized bus tour, taxi cab, or water taxi, and of course on foot. To get from one island to another, travelers take ferries, speedboats, tour boats, or airplane, either scheduled or chartered. Exploration of St. Vincent begins at the Botanical Gardens on the outskirts of Kingstown. Established in 1765, these are the oldest botanical gardens in the Western Hemisphere. The gardens are known for the conservation of rare species of plants and birds, including the endangered St. Vincent parrot. William Bly, captain of the bounty, brought the breadfruit plant from the South Pacific. Kingstown, the capital of St. Vincent, is marked by charming cobblestone streets, Georgian architecture, and lively shopping. Colorful tropical fruits and a variety of fresh seafood fill the bustling Kingstown market. Local artisans display paintings and handmade crafts. St. George's Anglican Cathedral, built in the early 1800s, has magnificent stained glass windows. This window was commissioned by Queen Victoria and brought to Kingstown as a gift to the bishop. St. Mary's Cathedral, built in the same era, displays several styles of architecture, including Moorish, Romanesque, and Georgian. On top of Berkshire Hill, Fort Charlotte overlooks the Grenadines. These barracks once housed hundreds of British troops. Today, they are home to a museum and an intriguing collection of paintings depicting the island's original dwellers, the Garifuna Nation. Outside Kingstown, St. Vincent offers a veritable Garden of Eden in the Mesopotamia Valley. Surrounded by mountains, this fertile valley teems with tropical crops, coconut, nutmeg, banana, and cocoa. Refreshing streams flow from the mountains into the valley and on through the Yambu Gorge on the way to the sea. 